ladies and gentlemen, David Holliday. Give it up for David! Period. 
every month, you know, the girl is, is, has a bodily function that is known as a period. And I feel like a lot of people put them down for it and make them feel like it's super gross and like they get very like, self-conscious about it. And uh, which ends up, uh, they do this really funny thing where they don't have sex with us for a week every month. <laughs> you fucking assholes, stop making girls feel bad about their periods. <laughs> if you add that time up, that is three months out of every year that we're not getting laid. And so if you're gonna put a girl down for a period, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you look like a period. <laughs> so, uh, I've been trying to, you know, get a, get a girlfriend lately. I've been trying to swoon my way with the ladies. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not like, I'm not the best at it. Um, the last interaction that I had with a girl was at a bar in Salt Lake a little while ago. And uh, she's just this really cute girl hanging out by the bar. And I, you know, I was getting my drink. And I was like, hey, I'm going to try and go talk to that chick. And so I take my drink. And then I, I like, go over to talk to her. And all that came out of my mouth was, where is the bathroom? <laughs> and then she proceeded to go, oh, it's over there around the corner. And she pointed me to the bathroom. So now I have to go to the bathroom or else I look really fucking weird. And so I go to the bathroom and realize that she just directed me to the ladies' room. And so I was like, all right, now where is the men's room? Because I'm actually working up a good piss now. Um, and so I walk around the corner and ask this guy, and he points me in the direction to the men's room, and she was standing in front of the men's room the entire time. Uh, that was not the coolest thing that's happened recently. I have had sex a few times, a few times, a few times. Um, uh, it, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I like going down on girls a lot. That's one of my favorite things to do during sex. Because they like it so much. And like and obviously I like that the beginning of blood job is tight, dude. It's tight. And uh, so like being able to receive the favor, it's my favorite. I just love like it and I, I imagine like just looking like this little kid just like licking an ice cream cone just like <laughs> Oh, 
And I was just like, all right, this is still great material. And then uh, all of a sudden, the guy just, the fence is like this tall, like when I'm standing. And so the guy grabs up, climbs up on top of the fence, and starts deep throwing the guy that he's banging. And he's just going, yeah! Like looking down at me with this like, like yeah! And I was just like, oh my god, I can't believe this is happening to me. It was like, uh, like, like it's like if like in home improvement, when his neighbor's like peeking over the fence, and he's just like banging somebody behind the fence that whole time. Like, Retracted dating tool. So you just pop a button up your shirt there, and then you fling it out. All right, all right. Oh, there's a cigarette. Um, so it's got some nice cologne attached to it for uh, for uh, you know when uh, you forget to put some deodorant on. This is a uh, bod bod men black. It's good. Uh, Ninety-seven cents at Walmart. In case anyone's curious. Um, and you, you just take it and you can flip around here and I got some chapstick because everybody forgets to bring chat. At least I always forget a chapstick. Uh, and uh, I, I wanted to attach a toothbrush to this because you know, you've been somewhere and forgot to brush your teeth before. But with mint chapstick, you don't got to worry about brushing your teeth because you just put that on your lips. It creates a nice little force field of minty freshness. Uh, and then, uh, you know, if it's really that bad, you can just take a bite off of it, chew it up. It's not toxic, you know, so that's good. hand sanitizer there. Hand sanitizer is going to be really good for after or, you know, the aftermath, thinking about that. The, the cigarettes in there because uh, I wanted to show that you can, you know, when you're getting so, 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 you know, so you mean with a lady some nights, it's nice to have like a little bit of smoke. Uh, I would have brought a joint, but I didn't want to bring weed on the stage because I know how it talks about weed. Uh, I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, you can also, uh, for sex, uh, LSD is a great drug. Uh, so you can put a vial of LSD on there. Uh, I believe this is a couple of dozen hits. I don't, I don't really trust the guy I bought it from, so I don't really know. Um, but uh, you want to make sure that if you're uh, taking a dose of this, it's only going to be about 150 to 200 uh, micrograms, I believe is the, the measurement there, or something like that. Uh, any much more than that, you're just going to end up staring at each other's genitals all night, like... <laughs> I mean, every time I've taken too much acid, it just ends up being like 10 hours of me trying to not set my hair on fire. So I just want to make sure that you're, you're doing the proper dosage. But this is the uh, retracted dating tool. It just pops right off there. It's a great feature to have when you're going out to pick somebody up in a night, you know, because it pops right back in. No one's going to know you're taking them home that night. It's great. It's great. Also, uh, if you order in the next 15 minutes, we throw in the AKC F16 auto ejecting knife. Uh, this is a great uh, defense tool. Um, flip it around there, and then you got to auto eject back in. That is a great knife to defend yourself when you're out on a prowl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But yeah, that's the, dating, that's the retracted dating tool kit. Yeah. Now, I know this isn't really like comedy that I'm about to do, but I've always had the dream of wanting to be a professional dancer. And so I put together a little number for you guys tonight. It's gonna give me one second to set up the amplifier over here. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. 
everybody's everybody's doing it. Like you, you just what, what grab you what you want, and then it ends up happening. But I don't know. Dang. Why do you why, why do you sound like Optimus Primo from that robot movie? You know, it's, what is what is what is wrong with you? It's, it's auto tune. I raised you better than this. What do you raised me better than what? I'm I'm gonna get enough money to be able to buy this house. Oh, I'm to sure. Like, to like, like get you like a, like a car for you to drive around. Oh like, really? What do you want for me? Really? Like, you don't even have enough money to afford those supreme underwear that you wow. ask me every Christmas to buy for you. No, they're not that supreme. They're pretty goddamn expensive. Okay. I appreciate it if you just get off of your damn computer and get a damn job and pay for some of the damn things around here. Shave your fucking mustache. You look like Jack Sparrow had sex with Robin Williams. I'm sick of it. Get your shit together. You're 23 years old. <laughs> Sorry, I had to hear that, Brad. No, no, it's, it's all good, man. Um, um, my mom's like a huge bitch. She go there. I'm uh, sorry. Just, uh, uh, text me later. Are you, yeah, do you not like, I'll, I'll tell you when I like upload it to SoundCloud later, dude. Uh, yeah, the sound dog. See ya. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. Um, I apologize for that. That was not the right track. Do you guys have a good night? Thank you.